Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the Arduino as a touch toggle switch. Let's talk about what you need here. We have an LED that is connected to pin 13. Even if you don't have one, that's okay. You can always use the one on the Arduino board, but I'm using this Arduino, uh, this LED over here. Let me get this wire out of the way. This is the LED connected to pin 13 and the other pin to the ground. Obviously, don't forget to add a resistor if needed. Um, you have a one mega ohm resistor. This resistor over here is connected between pin 2 and pin 4. So as you can see here, this resistor over here, let me try to point to it, is between pin 2 and pin 4. In addition, you have this jumper wire that is connected to pin 4 and I will be using it as my touch switch point. Now, now let me show you how this works real quick and of course I will leave the code in the description as always. So I have this wire connected to pin 4 which I'm using as my touch point. So as you can see when I touch the wire the LED goes on and if I touch it again it will turn it off. By the way there is this problem of like the double touch so what if you touch it quickly twice then that could cause a problem and I added a timer to track the LED status and when was the last touch happened. So that will eliminate or uh, reduce the problem with the double touch here. Uh, of, of course, I will, leave, I will give you the code. I will leave it a link in the description, but here is the toggle and the Arduino will track the status of the LED and the last touch and will do the toggle based on that. There is a 10 millisecond delay. That's why like I was trying to show you this. So see if I touch it multiple times uh, over and over within the milliseconds, the LED will not react immediately. So hopefully that makes sense. But if I give it some time and I touch it again, it'll work just fine. So now if I give it a little bit of time, uh, it's, it's a 10 millisecond delay. If I touch it one more time, it works just fine. So again, code in the description. This is it for this video. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.